Howdy y'all, Beardy Carpenter here. I started uh, the decking on the, the Paradise Point cabin and I had some good help with me this morning. A good buddy of mine, David, is here with me. He's been an awful lot of help. I've had, he's handed the boards to me, doing my cutting. I don't have to climb up and down. It sure made it a pleasure. We've got the first three feet on, which I can work off of the scaffold. And from now on, I'll be inside the cabin and be able to put it on from the inside and just reach in between the rafters and nail it down. I'm on the front side of the cabin. I've got the lines snapped on to line me up so I can run the, uh, the sub rafters up straight. The wind was blowing when we were snapping these lines, so there's a little bit of dust scattered around. I've got the sub rafters cut and I went ahead and drilled the holes for the uh, pole barn nails. Now I've got to get these up and screw in through this two before the subfascia. Then I'll drive the first nail, uh, pole barn nail, and I can put my first run of lathing on and the second run. And then as I get up on the roof, I'll be able to reach the other pole barn nails as I get to them. So now I've got to get them up here. decking on the tongue and groove V edge one one by six. I did not video this. We were battling uh, an ice storm and we're just kind of working when we could but I'm glad to have this all on. You can see the uh, the blocks that are in between the rafters and the little groove right here. I think this makes for a beautiful ceiling. We have the framework for the sub rafters and the lathing up. We finished this up Saturday and it was a cold, cold, cold morning. And when I got to the ridge, the wind was blowing across there and just about cut me in two. It was cold. But this side is ready to put the fascia board on. I will be using uh, red cedar, what we call red cedar for the fascia board. Then we'll be able to put the metal up and I'll insulate in between the rafters. These rafters are nailed down through the decking into the, the principal rafters, the ones that are exposed with uh, six inch pole barn nails and they will not ever come off, I don't think. I've been working off of these scaffolds that I built. They hang on the side of the building and there is a bolt, a piece of all thread that goes through the chinking gap and there's a a two before block on the inside with a washer and a nut. They do pretty well. I do brace them so that they won't move sideways and use a two by 12 for a walk board. They're screwed down so they won't move. And on the end, I have another two before uh, holding up the end of it that goes down and uh, rest on a, a block at the bottom so that it won't sink into the ground. Right here where there's a window, I had to uh, put a, a two by eight across and put a two by four block underneath in the sub jam, which that's a temporary sub jam that I have in the window just so that I could put the scaffold up. And I had to, to bring it out an inch and a half at the bottom to make up for the thickness of the uh, two by eight that actually holds the, uh, the scaffold jack itself. We're getting closer to getting the roof on. Got the red cedar fascia board and the metal drip edge on on this side this side here is ready for the insulation and the metal roofing I'm doing a little bit different vent system as far as the, the opening I'm just drilling some two inch holes and keeping them centered 
between the rafters underneath and then I'll put the screen wire over that. I made up a jig that I can use and I've got a center line here right in the middle and I can just set this down in there with my mark right here which is the edge of the 4 by 6 rafter. I mark both sides, there's the other mark, and then I, I got a center mark here between them. And I just put my a speed square and line those marks up and put a, a screw in it here and here. And then I can just drill this right out. I just have a, it's just a cheap hole saw that I've chucked up in my drill. And it works pretty good. Get those cut out. <laughs> I've had to put a little bit of a spacer here underneath this to get it up to where I really wanted my holes to be. Make a first cut there to get rid of the tar paper. back and I'll staple uh, a strip of screen wire over over each of these well over the whole thing but uh, I'll staple up around the, the hole so it stays snug there we've got the metal up here on the saw horses with boards underneath and what we've done is laid out where all the lathing two befores are and I went ahead and pre-drilled a hole make it easier to start a screw when you're up on the roof you want everything to your advantage so we've got this all laid out all this the holes drill where the screws will go and that'll make it a lot easier for us we've got five sheets stacked up here and i've clamped them to where they don't slide when i drill the hole so i drill five the, the first sheet is drilled a little differently this first hole that will be uh, for, for the first screw will be actually further over so it doesn't run right straight into the fascia board We'll be getting into the lathing With the first screw on the other the very first sheet this hole is actually over here just finished the roof just got through screwing the ridge cap on all the way down I'm so glad to have this done we'll walk around and look at the other side we're through with this scaffold now so we can take it down I'm not gonna do it today but it will come down it's the vent holes with screen wire stapled on top of it 
to allow airflow up and over the insulation underneath the, the roof.